Hey buddies, Potemic Whiskey here and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 6 as China. I've been having a blast playing this particular mod, the Eight Ages of Pace mod, which you can find a link to on the Steam community in the description of this video. Things have been going really, really well for me, although we are only playing on Emperor difficulty, that's because I just wanted to get used to this mod before I jumped right into Deity. I think I will probably, I think this mod is going to become like a staple because I feel like it really actually does solve a lot of the problems with the game in terms of how it feels to go through the eras. Uh, let's see here. It, 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 it decompresses how it feels, although it, you still have to kind of do the same build orders. Uh, it doesn't fix that about the game, but it does fix the pacing and feel of the game. I feel, I feel at least it, it, well, I don't know if I would say it fixes it, but it helps. Okay, our knowledge of scientific theory has advanced. I'm going to move you into the city and I'm going to take the garrison promotion. I'm going to move my crouching tiger over a tile and then I'm going to shoot there. Um, then I'm going to storm the river with my swordsman. I'm going to shoot this archer twice. That should be a kill. There we go. So we can pretty much prevent any crossbowman pushes in here. I'm also, I'm going to go ahead and you need more housing. So I'm going to pick up the lighthouse. I also have a crouching tiger here that I'm going to move onto the quarry to act as a defensive unit. I'm going to choose production here. In Changsha, we just got a commercial hub up and that does mean I need to get this war over with Sydney so that I can get my other things going. But other than that, I think it's all going just fine. I'm going to continue to keep these guys linked. I'm going to go for this city right there. I'm going to choose a new production in this city. I think a granary is purchasable here and that will get this city just got a little bit, just that scooch more growth. Uh, so I suppose... There is a certain thing I can do. I think, yeah, I think I do want to get the medieval walls. The city has really bad production, so I'm going to kind of have to just live with that. But I would like to get out some more districts uh, to get the extra housing. Probably not going to have very, very many opportunities for a any sort of industrial sort of shenanigans. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to stick down the harbor for the gold, although that is a really important task, so I don't feel ready to kill that yet. I'll drop down the theater square though and choose unit needs orders. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I want to have, I want to be trading with my capital, so I'll trade with Jean. Jean or whoever you want to say it. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce some of these cities, so if you know, make sure you tell me. I'd love to know. Let's see here. Okay, we just got scientific theory. Now that is, I believe, building, having the enlightenment civic, yes. And we also, okay, we are running out of amenities here. I believe this might be war exhaustion. In some of my other cities, yeah, you can see the war weariness is causing the amenity gap. We're gonna wanna get entertainment districts in here if I can. Finally get my final piece of artwork down and that's going to be very very nice if I go in here and check this out two religious and a landscape so this is same type from different artists so he made two religious and can I move you guys over Ugh. it's really annoying that you can't move artwork it's really really annoying Chengdu needs more amenities to keep it productive okay we need more housing over here yeah You've been able to create more trade routes than before. Yep, we're not quite ready to get those more trade routes, but we, we are aware of it and it's something we want to keep in mind. So let's go ahead and move on to the next turn. I have another two crossbowmen coming out, which should be enough to hold off pretty much all of the pressure that's coming out at me. Hopefully he will want to piece me soon. Took a little bit of damage on my city, that's okay. I apologize, I will cease these operations at once. Okay, we just got urbanization. Spy was captured, oh. Fifty gold per turn. Now you can keep them. <laughs> uh, I stopped settling near the Australian Empire. We just got urbanization, which I believe is growing a city to 15 population, which I think our capital, yep, capital just hit 15 pop. Yep, and we just hit the housing cap on Jean. More amenities, yeah. I think that's I think the amenity problem here though is mostly to do with war weariness. Yeah, it's pretty rough. It's pretty rough right now, but we should be able to 
kill another crossbowman here, which is going to hurt Australia quite a bit. I'm going to move up into this tile and then shoot here, and that'll be another kill. I'm also going to move this crossbowman down here. I'm going to promote to Tortoise, and then I'm going to upgrade you. I'm going to move you here. Here, rather. You're going to stay there. Choose production. Okay, uh, I will grab an archaeologist. I want... I think I can get away with three based on what I can see so far, but I am going to want to do more exploring, which is probably going to result in more knights. Ugh, I need two iron. I only have one iron, which is unfortunate. Wait, I thought I had two iron. Did they pillage my iron? Or did I trade some iron away? I might have traded some iron away for something. So we'll have to kind of hold off on getting knights. I would like some sort of melee scouting unit with high movement speed, which is not really an available option for me right now. So I might just grab some extra builders to help out my empire. In the meantime, okay, you got your art museum. Let's have a look at the old points over here. We are top of the class in everything. We're going to be getting the next great writer as well. Jadwiga got a writer. Okay. Oh, well, you know what I could do here? I could, I think, I think I changed my mind. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do theater square festivals to try and earn more great people more quickly. Okay. Do I want to continue to develop this city? I would like some more gold. It's a definite thing that I would like, but I would also like more units to be able to explore. And a musketman could do that thing. I could just purchase those things though. So perhaps I'll go ahead and I'll build the market to get the auction house. So let's see, what sort of great people have been earned? Somebody got a great general. I think I'm getting most of the great merchants. There's a few great artists here. Yeah, Duiga stole a great rider from me. Germany's about to get a great general. I'm working on a great engineer. I should get the next one. Did somebody steal a great engineer? Okay, so I should get the next great engineer, which should be the James Watt. I am producing the most points. Factories provide plus two production. Oh, hell yeah. Actually, changed my mind. You're going to do industrial zone logistics because I really want that great person. Uh, grab me the arena. I'm starting to hit the amenity problem. You as well. Commercial hub. Get your industrial zone up. Let's see here. Crossbowman, fortify until healed. Build another farm. Then chop that hill. So how long until... Was captured. That's really unfortunate. I'm going to figure out how to get him back. Uh, I wonder how will Australia feel... I'll go ahead and I'll pick up Barding. He seems to be using a lot of things. How do you feel about peace? So four turns from now, he's probably going to want peace because I completely slaughtered his entire army. Uh, I am not interested in this. Thank you. Thank you very much, though. I appreciate that you would think of me when you want to come for a trade. You can see... Oh, he looks like he's fighting Jerusalem as well. That's interesting. I did not think that that would be the case. If I move here... Oh, that's actually dangerous. I'm going to move you here, move you here, shoot there. I'm going to pull back the Crouching Tiger. You're going to continue to get levels. I'm going to shoot here with both of these districts. There we go. See this excellently positioned line of defensive districts? There's never a break in the combat. You can see that there's just a perfectly strong line of districts that can shoot you. There's very few angles you can attack that makes it weak. Um, there is a bit of a weakness here. I would like, an, if I could get Shanghai to build an encampment here, this would be pretty much an unbroken line of defensive structures. And I can use these as urban fighting places for crossbowmen and stuff. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm doing pretty damn well. I have six envoys. I don't really have anyone I want to send them to. I don't care about the religious city-states. Automatically converts to your religion when... User suppressor. Apostle. Yeah, I mean, all these. I'm, I'm happy keeping these guys under my wing. 
Shanghai needs more housing. Yep. And amenities are becoming a problem in a, quite a few cities now. I think this is mostly due to war weariness, not necessarily growth. If I go in here, uh, you see my my capital city is getting hit by some war weariness. As I think, I think I'm not sure how the war weariness mechanic works. It seems to just affect cities kind of semi randomly. I'm not sure, but it's affecting my capital. It's affecting my capital, which is in turn causing amenity shortages around my empire. Uh, speaking of which, that actually kind of tells me I need a mark. I need to get the arena here. I'll purchase the arena, and then I'll build the zoo. I think I need the zoo more than I need the archaeologist. Uh, it's a hard choice. I'll go for I'll go for the zoo because this zoo will hit one, two, three, four, five. Six. Six cities, so that's six amenities, so I will grab that zoo. It's a very valuable zoo. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade to a musketman here. Make that guy a little bit stronger. I thought you would have been able to make it back further, but unfortunately you're probably dead. I'm going to remove the improvement and then drop a mine there. Pressure this city a little, see if he'll shoot it. Next turn, this unit might die actually, unfortunately. We'll have to see how it works. Pressure them, but we saved this unit, so that's good. I'm gonna go here and fortify, I'm gonna pull you back. You're also gonna pull back. Uh, I need you to go scouting. So why don't you come back down here? Choose production here. All right, we finished our theater square. What's our big, what's our next big move here? There's definitely something to be said for all of these buildings. You need a builder though, big time. And I don't really have the time to build it here. I'll have to get it in, I'll have to get it in Longxi. I'm going to go for the amphitheater and then I'll get Longxi to build you a builder perhaps. I'm going to go ahead and harvest that. That's going to finish your industrial zone, which should Bring you closer to getting a great engineer. How long would it take you to work a great engineer? Point nine turns. That's way too slow. Okay. What's next? I don't think I need an encampment. I think I could do some good work with another theater square. Holy site wouldn't be awful either. If I put the theater square right here, I would screw this farm out of it. But I do want theater squares as much as I can. Shoot there. Oh, you can't. You didn't quite have the moves for that. Uh, we created a trading post. Auckland has made peace with John Curtin. Interesting. Auckland has declared war on John Curtin. After a shift, no longer. S yep. Taiwan needs more amenities. Yep, yeah, that's not to be... Zhaodong needs more amenities. Yeah, we're hitting a big amenity problem right now. And the hope is we'll be able to solve that. Let's keep shooting here. Just completely demolish his ability to wage war is the goal. I'm going to drop a mine here. That's going to give me adjacency on two districts. I'm going to lock that tile in. I have some more land to develop over here. Particularly over here on this western side. Unit needs orders. Yeah, continue to trade with Jian, please. Hopefully once this war is over, I'll be able to rebuild a lot of these trade routes that got killed. I'm gonna harvest here to get that arena out. And then I'll get the market. So how are you growing? You're growing to all this stuff. Yeah, we're gonna be dropping out some farms out here. Although... There was something to be said for a line of great walls. You know what? Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do a line of great walls out here just to get that little bit of extra tourism. We are pretty close to getting conservation. So I don't think that's actually a bad idea. We could get some we could get some great wallage over here. 
too, because these are kind of far away and not really workable. Well, I mean, these are workable, but I could do, I could certainly do a great wall across here like that or something if I grow to those piles. So we'll see. Definitely want more builders soon. Uh, you would like to trade a... Seven gold per turn for a religious artwork swap. I'm going to take that deal. No, that's going to help her more than me. Screw you, Yadviga. Screw you, Yadviga. Yadviga. There is a... I'm relieved to see... Aha, uh -huh, okay. Uh -huh. Amazingly, they think I'm not a threat when I've basically won every war that I've been in. Well, I say that. I haven't quite won this one yet, but I think I'm winning. I think I'm winning. Okay, John Curtin, how many more turns until you're... Okay, one more turn until John Curtin will make peace with me. Perhaps I will... I'm not really interested in obliterating him. But I am interested in doing damage to his people. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to grab the garrison promotion on this guy. And just accept that one of these crossbowmen is going to survive a turn. Oh, it didn't. Excellent. Okay. We have our campus. We have our encampment. We need our third and final district over here. Probably going to be a commercial hub to provide me with the trade route. And it's probably going to be on that tile. Fight. Refresh here. So let me go ahead and grab the commercial hub. And I'm going to stick it there. Excellent. You finished the thing here that gave me this. So we're about to get our work of music. Go ahead and grab me a builder. I need that. In this... Okay, we just got industrialization. So we want radio and we also want computers. So we're probably going to beeline that. Is there anything back here that I could use? Probably banking for the gold from quarries would be nice. Uh, I'm going to grab printing. I probably should have grabbed this a long time ago. I forgot that great works of riding are doubled in their tourism. So I'm going to grab printing. I want to make sure I don't miss out on any of that stuff. Food from the plantation. Step wells to see plus housing. Combustion. All that good stuff. Quarry. Okay, yeah, I probably should have grabbed, I could have, I probably could have grabbed riding a long, long time ago and that would have provided me with quite a significant chunk of tourism. So I'm going to pick up printing right now. Not writing, sorry, printing, not writing. Writing, writing is all the way back here. I'm going to grab printing and then I'm going to move into, I will pick up banking. Then I'm going to go ahead and pick up, um, I would like the sewer. So I'm going to pick up sanitation, and then I'm going to go into radio and then into computers because I want to get the tourism uh, yields doubled. So we'll go there. So that's my next 10 technologies laid out. And then the zoo here. Okay. Let's see. Do I want to go for the zoo? I don't think I want to go for the zoo. I think what this city needs to do is to build builders for my empire because I do need more builders um, now that I'm hitting into the late game okay let's see here do I want to get the art museum or do I want to get the archaeological museum let's count oh, how many of each I have um, what I have one I wish there was a way to filter this again it's kind of annoying I have one art museum I have two art museums I have three art museums and I have one two two archaeological museums. I think I could get a third one just fine. But is that what I want to get here? Or do I want to get the shipyard? The shipyard would be plus three production, which would be very valuable in the long term. This city needs builders. Oh my god. Go ahead and build the Great Wall improvement. Now that's not going to do much for us right now. But as I extend it, it'll be, it'll be good. You're just making builders right now. That's good. Go ahead and alert. Trade with Jan because that's the one that gives the most stuff. Now Chengdu does technically give more production, but I like the, the diverse yields of food and production to help me keep growing. I'm going to go fortify here. I will kill this just because I don't like Australia for declaring war on me. 
Okay, we're about to settle that city next turn. Awesome. I'm pretty happy about that. We're going to get another city out. Uh, Lublin. It looks like Poland is settling out in this direction too. I could potentially protect Kumasi, but it's a bit far away. I might be able to get this crossbowman to get in position. I'm going to pull you back to here and I'll take the garrison promotion. These are mostly defensive units, so I'm not actually taking the more offensive. I want them standing on districts where possible. So you just got the industrial zone logistics. The factory is providing plus two production. I'm going to do that again because it's really important to me that I get that. Um, you got your second settler. Go ahead over to the Changsha. I will go ahead and I will pick up the factory here because it'll give me more points towards great people. Although what I might do is I might do a double whammy, double whammy here and do industrial zone logistics. Okay, you can go into alert mode. Uh, Jean, I'm going to trade with my capital. I'm going to go chop that forest out. We'll go into our next turn. Unit needs orders. Hopefully get some kills here, eventually. And we will settle in place. Immediately purchase a builder to get those whales online. Fortify until healed. Let me check here. This gets plus two gold. So being adjacent to this is just as good as... So I'll go Harbour first, probably, in the city. To get the trade route instead of the commercial hub, and then I'll do commercial hub later. But I'm going to want to purchase a trade route here to trade with my capital. Uh, oh, Monte oh, he built the Ruhr Valley. I could have built that. Damn. Uh, I'll have to live without it. It's not a big deal not to get it. I do want to check my demographics here. You would take two great works for my spy. Fifty gold for a spy. That's a lot. I think I can live without my spy. Okay, I'm second in science now and I'm second in tourism now. You would give me niter. You have nothing else of value to give me, really? That's upsetting. I was hoping for some sort of value. Let's have a look at the tourism. We are now starting to generate tourists. That's really, really good. I can, in fact, in fact, if I go in here and I go and look at the tourism mode, we can see, haha, we have our first tourists over here. The pyramids have even got one themselves. Excellent. Not quite generating a huge amount of tourism, but it will get there in the end. It'll take us a little bit of time. The doubling the great works here will be really useful. Peace, 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 peace. Housing trouble in Chen. Okay. Crossbowman unit is available for promotion. I will go ahead. And now that I have the garrison, I will take volley. Let's see. Factories. Uh, I do need builders more than anything right now. I've got a lot of land left to develop. Get down here to Guanshu. Go ahead and get me another builder. One, two, three. So this tile is actually not workable by my empire, so I'm probably going to harvest it and then put a great wall on it. This tile is workable by, by my empire, so I'm probably going to put a um, thing on it. Although, even though this farm isn't workable by my empire, I could put a farm there. No, I'll probably just kill it. Uh, this will be done next. You're going here. I'm going to fortify until healed. Now, I could have the thingy for builder production and extra build charges slotted in, but because I'm China, I don't actually need those. I don't I don't feel like I need them. Like I could because I feel like I'm getting more value out of the Medina quarter and meritocracy. Let, let's see. If I were to slot in serfdom, yeah, I would get two extra build charges, but I think I think I have a pretty good empire without that. I'm going to go ahead I'm going to get the whales online. There it is. That's going to be an extra amenity in my entire empire. 
I don't think I had whales. Oh, I did, but now I have it again. <laughs> oh well. Am I getting it from a city-state or something? It could be possible. That could be what's happening. Hm. I wonder where I'm getting it. Probably from a trade deal or something, but at least I have it secured now for myself. Uh, I don't want to waste a chop here on logistics, so I'm going to chop for the factory and then I'll switch back to logistics. Then we'll drop another farm, or another farm, another mine here, rather. <laughs> All right, we'll go into our next turn. Unit needs orders. I'll be able to get a kill here. Military science has advanced. I want to settle over here to grab this tobacco because I believe I don't have any tobacco. If I check my resources, yeah, I don't have tobacco. It's probably hard to read that. I wish there was a way to make it bigger. Not much I can do. I mean, I, I probably could, like, edit in, zoom in mode, but, you know, that, that's too much work, man. That's too much work. Military science. I thought I'd already gotten military science, or was that military engineering? I think that might have been military engineering. Let's see here, right? We got scientific theory, we got sanitation, all this good stuff. Next turn. I love a leader who is surrounded by an impressive military. Thank you. Claim a great person. Okay, we're going to get the very first musician of the game, I believe. Okay, he stole a great scientist from me. Which is to be expected. I don't have the most points for great scientists anyway. Um, but I should be able to get this great, great musician, which is the first great musician of the game, actually. And that's going to result in some good news. Now, how many can you create? Now the bad news is I don't really have anywhere for this to go. I'm going to have to move this over to Longxi. Okay. And then I'm going to go for this guy. He's going to create a great work. Yeah, I don't really have anywhere to store it right now, which is unfortunate. I mean, I could build the Bolshoi Theater. It would take 16 turns though. I'm probably better off just waiting. Okay, Taiwan just did another industrial zone logistics. And then we've got another one coming out. So that should secure us what we need. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to finish off the archaeologist. I'm going to trade with Longxi because that's a balanced yield. I've got my crouching tiger, which you hang out there. Go into alert mode. Drop the mine there. That's going to result in even more production for these cities. I'll lock that tile in. This isn't a very good tile, but this city's almost reached its maximum potential. Uh, I'm going to trade with Jean again. Going to harvest out a builder. Excellent. I'm going to go ahead. I will grab the zoo here. Then this builder needs to go down to here to develop this land into farmland. Go down, do a little bit of exploration. Some pretty strong units here that I need to be careful of. Okay, you got that online. Also, we might be able to snag this coal. And in fact, I will go ahead and purchase that because I don't want to f miss out on that coal. Because I don't think I was fortunate enough to really get coal in my empire. There's one right there. I don't know if I'll be able to get that. Um, yeah, I wasn't fortunate enough, but I was fortunate enough to get here in time to get this coal. Okay. Lots of housing problems in my empire, which is to be expected because we are not at urbanization yet. I'm going to make this episode a little bit longer because, again, I'm having a lot of fun playing this. I'm really enjoying this game. Yerevan made peace with Kumasi. Okay, I need to be careful here. I don't want to lose this guy. Jesus. Let me pull back. They tried to do a heist on me. I captured their spy. Okay, they let me build an embassy. And they let me build an embassy. Okay, so that should let me know. How do you feel about me? Scared of threatening civs. Huh, interesting. A while ago you were telling me I wasn't a threat. Which I suppose is interesting. Interesting whichever way you want to look at it. Do I need more builders? Yes. 
Go down here. Are you a city with an art museum or a thingy? Um, I want to get the spy out. I also want to claim this great person here, this great engineer. And then I want to drop him here in this particular place. That's going to build the factory and workshop in this district and immediately give all my factories a bonus. Boom. So there's the factory. So now this city actually has a pretty damn good production level. Which makes it 100% worth it to finish that. Also, the Robert Goddard. Not really too interested in him. I don't care about that. We're about to get riding, which should be a significant boost to our tourism income. So we have, how many art museums do we have? We have one, two, three art museums and three archaeological museums, I believe. There's another one coming out here. Uh, I'm going to de-emphasize the cultural side of things. I need to get more of these like arenas out. Also, I could use a little bit more science. So I might grab a library here. You're going to have to hang out, Beethoven, I'm afraid. Go into alert mode. We chop out this stadium here. We'll go ahead and we'll stick down another great wall. We are very, very close to conservation, which should give us a huge boost to our tourism. Right now, if I go check, I'm currently second, but I should be overtaking him very, very soon. Go ahead and alert. I have this settler here. Next turn, I'll give you orders. Let's see here. After shift, I need to be. I need to continue to be suzerain of Kumasi, so I will put some more uh, envoys in there. I want to keep him under my belt. Zhao Dong needs more housing. Yep. I got one envoy with Yerevan. I have a swordsman here. I don't want to upgrade him yet. I'm going to go into my next turn. Go ahead and get into that. We'll go into our next turn. Yuna needs orders. Aha, yes. And in fact, you do need orders. Go there. We'll go into our next turn. At long last, I don't know how many times I've pressed that next turn button and it, you know, tells me a unit needs orders. Was killed? Okay, so they're really attacking Long Shi. We killed a spy and we captured one. We have uh, Cassus Belly on Yadviga. I love the whole Cassus Belly mechanic. It's I think it started off in like Paradox games and then other developers like the Civ guys, they started implementing it. Okay, I'm going to grab my archaeologist. I probably should have had these a while ago. Where, where do I have my archaeology? That's those two places. Okay. So... Do a little bit of a scouting over here just to make sure my settler is safe. I don't really have anywhere I can do this with you, so I'm just going to put you to sleep, to sleep, Beethoven. I'm also going to grab a mine here. That's going to give me the boost towards steel. In fact, I actually... Steel is one of those techs I want to pick up pretty... relatively early in the game. I'll drop it a, a farm here. Now, if I were to put a farm here, this would give me adjacency bonus stuff, but I'll, I'll just leave this the way it is. These coastal tiles are incredible, thanks to having Auckland under my belt. And we just picked up riding, so that should have boosted our tourism per turn. I now should be first in tourism generated. Yes, I am. I don't quite have the most tourists, but there it is. And we got a boost for steel. Excellent. Oh, Germany and the Aztecs have declared war on me. Very well. I should not have too much trouble defending against this. Uh, Aachen. But I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to call this an end to this episode. We shall pick up on this cliffhanger in the next episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.